Well, we are here today in the National Space Centre in Leicester, um, and I've been joined by Rear Admiral Stephen Oswald. Hi. Great to be here. Good stuff. Uh, Stephen, now, you, in doing research into you, I, I found that you've had absolutely tons of experiences in, in the past. Uh, you are a pilot for the US Navy, you've been a pilot for NASA, and, uh, of course, a decorated Eagle Scout as well. Yeah, I almost <laughs> forgot about the Eagle Scout. Yes. Yeah. How was it transitioning from, from uh, working for the U.S. Navy and then going to work for NASA afterwards? Oh, that was pretty easy. Um, you know, the cultures are different but very similar. Um, they're both mission-oriented organizations. Uh, they're both technical organizations, and they have the same... Uh, there were an awful lot of um, people there from the Navy and from the Air Force and the Marine Corps and a few Army guys uh, within the astronaut office. Um, you know, and the, um, the civil service workforce that, that is, works for NASA and the contractors are not necessarily military. Um, in fact, they're not military, but, but they have the same uh, mission-focused attitude. Different mission, but... Uh, certainly a complex mission and a, you know it's got some amount of um, uh, potential for bad things happening you know with, with NASA as it does you know in, in the military so uh, it was pretty easy I felt right at home very soon and you know there, there are enough subtle differences that it makes it interesting but you know, it wasn't hard. Um, for NASA you actually piloted a couple of missions for the, the space shuttle is that right? Uh, piloted two and commanded one. Uh, so three missions all together. And it's interesting with the pilot versus commander, um, and this dates back to probably Gemini, certainly Apollo. Uh, nobody wanted to be a co-pilot because they'd all been command pilots where they came from before. And, and so they, they called the guy who would normally be the pilot of a commercial airplane or the captain of a commercial airplane was the commander right. and the guy who was the co-pilot they called the pilot so on say a mission to the moon they had the mission commander and then they had the the lunar module pilot and the command module pilot uh, crew of three so that nobody was a co-pilot so it's really two of the flights were as co-pilot or co-commander uh, you know working for another guy who was the commander and then I commanded the last flight. So what, what's it actually like really to find yourself behind the helm of, of the space shuttle? Well I mean it's wonderful um, and, and once you launch um, you know you're in command you have the final say. Uh, interestingly the, the, a lot of the photos that people see of crew members on orbit whether it's station or shuttle um, they're playing around you know they have M&Ms floating in the crew compartment or they're playing with a ball of water or, or whatever. And, and there is time to, to relax and look out the windows and so forth uh, if you make time for that. Uh, and everybody wants to play with their food a little bit for whatever reason. Uh, but generally, you're working really hard and they're 16 hour days and you know, it costs a lot of money to get there and so everybody wants to be productive. Now, you're here today with uh, DMU Square Mile um, who, and you're, you're talking to a, a number of pupils and students alike. Mm -hmm. um, how important do you think events like today are to the pupils who are involved with it? Well, I think that I think they're important, um, and if you're able to motivate, you know, even a small percentage of the kids that that you get exposed to, or who get exposed to you, um, then I think that's worth the trouble of pulling it together. You know, and it's not just my time; it's a lot of other folks that that go to a lot of effort to, uh, to put this on. And, and I know they all feel the same way. And if you have you know, 25 kids in the room and you know, only one or two of them you know, really get the message and it you know, changes their, um, their behaviors over the next couple of years uh, in a direction that's positive, then shoot, it's worth doing. So, you know, and I like, I like dealing with kids. They get a lot of energy. It's refreshing. Uh, they're not nearly as cynical as, you know, folks that are my age uh, tend to be. So, um, so it's fun, and it's I find it energizing to 
uh, personally uh, to come and, and chat with kids. Excellent. So. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, you bet. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.